motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Greetings, beautiful people. Queen here with another episode, another fabulous, fabulous episode. Let's take a deep breath and get into the present moment. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wonder if you can hear that train that I'm hearing. But it's okay. It's part of life, right? So today we are talking about prosperity and abundance. I got a lot of feedback from yesterday's episode. I'm glad you all are taking the teachings and really dissecting it and applying it to your life. That's the whole reason why I do the podcast. These are thoughts in my head and I just share them with you. And like I said before, you know, if I ever had a daughter, I would want her to have these teachings that I'm sharing with you all. So now let's talk about prosperity and abundance. You know, many conversations come up around the idea of prosperity and abundance. I think nowadays people are infatuated with the subject. But what I find oftentimes than not is I find people just like to talk about it at cocktail parties, so forth and so on but they're not actually doing the things that they need to do to make the prosperity and abundance show up in their life. So I wanna give you some tools in today's episode that will allow you to manifest the prosperity and abundance that you're seeking. Because the things that you're seeking, they're also seeking you. You just have to get on the frequency of that thing whether it's better health, a better job, a better lover, better relationship with your family, a better city that you want to live in. Maybe you want to learn a different language, learn a martial art. It's all seeking you. Whatever it is that you seek is seeking you. I know for me, there's been so many manifestations throughout my life I, I think I just stopped counting. A couple of them I'll share with you. I remember, um, this was about 15 years ago, me and my partner at the time wanted this house in Georgia. At the time, I was living in Texas, and I had never lived outside of Texas. But we were traveling back and forth to Georgia, really liked it, the scenery and everything. It's really nice. And so uh, we said, hey, Let's move there. Cool, let's do it. So what I did was um, on my vision board, I would put up, you know, they sell the little postcards at the airport for whatever state that you're going to, they sell those postcards. So I put the postcards up on my vision board. I would cut out just even the name, you know, and when I'd run across it in a magazine or something, put it up on my vision board. And um, about maybe seven months later, we had a house in Georgia. (laughs) And um, it was interesting because even though what's seeking you 
it doesn't mean it's going to be easy selling, right? Because this particular house was a hot item. And it was on a, um, it was on like an auction website. Now the realtor that we had, he sucked. He sucked so bad. This dude was pathetic. He didn't really help at all. I, I hated even paying him his commission at closing. I actually uh, had him knock a thousand dollars off because he sucked so bad. Um, so anyways, we, um, like I said, you know, things are gonna not necessarily be smooth sailing. This, this house was on an auction site. So we were going back and forth, it was like a bidding war. You know, and my partner, she was like, she threw her hands up. She's like, forget it. Let's just get another one. I was like, nope, this is the house that we're getting. This is the house um, that I've been manifesting. Everything is perfect. It's in the right location. Everything. Nope, we're getting this house. So I just stuck with it, stuck with the bidding, going back and forth, going back and forth, going back and forth. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, we won the bid. We got the house. So that just goes to show you that the thing that, you know, you have in your mind for yourself, you, you have to have the, um, what is it, the, the, the guts to keep at it until you get it. You can't stop at the first sign of, you know, obstacle or something like that because you already know that obstacles are going to be there. It's part of life. That's how it goes. So what? Welcome the obstacles. Welcome the challenges. That just lets you know that you're the best fighter. You know, you look at Mayweather. I don't necessarily like his, his personality outside of the ring. But his athleticism, his tenacity, his diligence, you know, you can't, you can't say anything bad about that. You know what I'm saying? The man goes in thinking, I'm going to win. You know, like he doesn't think any other way. And I think that that's the way that we have to approach life. That's the way that we have to approach the things that we want. Like I'm going to win. All I know is winning. That's all I know. You see what I'm saying? So there's, there's no doubt in that regard. And I know along with that winning, with that journey, you know, it's going to be it's going to be things that come up. It's going to be things that come up. So, I mean, are you a weakling or are you a champion? You know, choose. That's why I said prosperity and abundance or nah. Because like I said, a lot of people, they just like to talk about it. It's a good conversation piece. But at the end of the day, what are you putting in every single day? When you go in the ring every day, how hard are you swinging? You know what I'm saying? How hard are you swinging? Another manifestation um, that happened for me, um, put this on my vision board as well. When my last doggy died in, um, let's see, 2018, I put on my vision board that I wanted to live in the Caribbean. I didn't want to wait until I got old and all this kind of stuff to live. I was like, why not just live now? I don't have anything holding me back. You know, um, I had thought about it before, but then like I said, I had, I had my little puppy, Pharaoh. Some countries you can't take a dog into and all this kind of stuff. So it was kind of a hindrance in that regard. Plus he had gotten sick and he was getting sick and I was taking him to the, to the, um, to the vet like every other week or so. He was a um, Dachshund and he had bad back problems. I didn't know that those dogs, they have uh, back issues because their, their uh, spine is so elongated or whatever. But anyway, rest in peace, Pharaoh. I love that little boy. So um, when, he, when he transitioned, I was like, there's nothing stopping me now. I, I was putting pictures up of the Caribbean on my vision board. And, um, you know, I would, I would think about it every day. I would visualize it every day or every other day or so, but frequently. And... Um, came to pass, manifested. Right now I'm looking at um, getting a condo on another island and I've got two 
that I've pinned down that I really, really, really like. And I think I'm, I'm almost about, I'm about 60, 40 as far as the one I really like and the one that's like, okay, would be second best. Uh, but you know, when you put your orders into the universe, you have to be precise. You have to be on point, the color, the dimensions, the size, everything. You got to be on point. So I'm going to narrow this thing down here in the next week or so, so I can focus in on this particular condo. So now it's not just about visualizing. It's about doing the things every single day to make it happen. So I got to go and I got to do what I need to do every single day, you know, to earn the money, to help my clients and uh, make sure I got the capital. So when the time comes for me to purchase it, it's already there. So it's the action that allows the things that we want as far as prosperity and abundance. You're prosperous and abundance already. However, as we know, you know, we're living, we're living on this planet. There are things that we want. And I'm not saying to be, to be this totally consumed individual with materialism. Um, that's not a healthy life to me. But yeah, there are nice things that you want in your life. But again, you know, you have to realize that it's going to be challenges. It's going to be obstacles. There's going to be, you know, minor setbacks. But if you're focused in, you know, you're lasered and locked in on that thing and you are doing the actions that's moving you closer and closer, you're winning. You're winning. You're winning. All right. So, you know, my big thing is always meditation, meditation, visualization and then action. That's the formula. Meditation, visualization and action. If you do those th three things, there's no way that you can fail absolutely no way that you can fail and if you don't have like a, a board or something like that where you've got you know pictures of the things that you want to manifest I highly suggest it that you do that make it a project you know if you have a family you know spouse and kids make it a project and each of you you know get your own vision boards because everybody dreams you know everybody dreams we're 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 we're, we're human beings and we always want to expand. We always want to grow, right? So we're, we're forever expanding our consciousness and expanding our dreams. So make it a project. If you've got a family, you all get together, you know, maybe on a weekend, make it a fun thing, get you some magazines and postcards and things like that and, and, and draw out your vision board. Another thing that I do as well is I have a digital vision board. So I have like a collage and I have it on my laptop because I see my laptop every day, sometimes for six to eight hours a day, I'm staring at my laptop. So on my desktop is my vision board. So it's staying at the top of the mind, right? So that may be something that you want to do as well, all right? But without action, no prosperity, no abundance is coming your way. So you have to remember that is a key piece is the action part. You have to do the action. Okay. So, hey, that's it for this episode. I uh, hope this uh, resonates with you. Hope you get into action. If you got questions around this, then go to the blog. The blog is at thequeendome.com. T-H-E-Q-U-E-E-N-D-O-M-E.com. All right. Have a beautiful day. Peace and unconditional love. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website nobscloser.com. Again, that's nobscloser.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.